Hey guys, Milwaukee has come out with a new higher capacity M12 bandsaw. This dude right here is brushless, packed with features that everyone has been asking for and is a major upgrade over the smaller, more compact M12 unit that is not brushless. We're going to go over this guy top to bottom. Stick with us. The new Milwaukee Fuel M12 compact bandsaw has a two and a half inch cut capacity in width and in depth. Now, obviously, if you're cutting a smaller little sliver off something, you have much more room to cut as far as depth goes. You have an adjustable guide here. You have a rafter hook. My God, everybody loves a rafter hook. And in all honesty, this is absolutely perfect. This brushless motor is a little bit more stout, a little bit more condensed in here, especially when compared to the older non-brushless M12 bandsaw. There's a lot of things that Milwaukee changed here. You have a reamer that will is optional doesn't come with it will tool free attach to the drive wheel you have a 30 and 9 16 inch blade so milwaukee is currently making two blades this one here which is going to be the 1214 tpi basically made for thin metals they also make an 810 tpi for thick metals this is going to come in a kit it's model number 2529-21xc if you want the battery bag and charger, it's coming with a four amp hour battery, 299. Bear tool 2529-20 is going to be 229. Again, just like almost all the other Milwaukee bandsaws out here, you have this tool free blade tensioner. So we're gonna open this guy up. Pop her open. This is what you're gonna see inside. We're gonna just turn it on so you can see it running. Everything here is as you would expect and as you'd seen in a lot of other bandsaws, but you have different crush zones here for you dropping this tool. It's going to absorb that impact in those areas so you don't crack, break, or move anything. You have a nice metal brace in the center. So if you were to push anything in here, you're not moving it. There's gonna be no flex in this unit as you use it. And I always look for a nice aluminum or metal structure that's gonna hold this all together. Blade changes are simple. We just release that lever on the back. You can pick these up, pull them out, drop them back in place, super easy. I'm gonna keep this one in place here as we're gonna to continue to go over it. Once you slide that back into place, you should always close the cover, but it will self-align in the bearings. Very nice. At six pounds, this is light, meant for single-handed use. Let's get into it, do some cuts. This is some basic three-quarter inch conduit that we grabbed out of the bank. Let's just make a quick cut. Super fast, super smooth, 570 surface feet per minute. This thing is quick. And it's smooth, it feels good. This thing's six pounds, so single-handedly, it's not that heavy. And it's nice that uh, this blade doesn't grab onto this thing and move it around. We can keep cutting this super, super smooth. Let's move up to something a little bigger. One thing to note, this bandsaw is going to come with a 1214 TPI blade, so that's going to be optimized for thin metal. This is going to be on the edge of that, and because it's a 30 and 9 16 inch blade, you're gonna have a hard time finding some third-party blades for it. I'll put some links in the description to what I can find out there as far as blade choices, but this is the best I can do without going to thick metal to really test out how fast this is gonna cut. Let's uh, give this a go. A little bit of vibration in the beginning as expected because it's so far out from the base, but also very little bog when we really got into this longer cut, which felt good. It powered its way through. It's nice and light. Let's go for one more. A 
We are going to make no judgments on this cut. This is definitely something I would pull out the thicker metal blade on, but we're just gonna give it heck and go through it and see how it does. Powers right through this without issue, and even though we had the incorrect blade, it was still very fast. I'm liking this little guy. Just for a comparison, we're gonna pull out the old M12 brushed bandsaw. We put the XC 4.0 amp hour battery on it. We have the same 1214 tooth blade. Again, we're pushing this. Let's go through this and give her a go. Not only is that maxing out the capacity of this unit, it is much, much slower, and you'll start to see where Milwaukee is coming from when they're saying we have the fastest cutting M12 bandsaw out there. It was definitely much, much faster than this unit. Running the older M12 bandsaw against the new M12 fuel, it's night and day difference. Simple, that 570 SFPM is actually just ripping through the metal super fast, giving you a great clean cut where it was clear that the older one was much slower. Now you can see here though, there is a size difference, at least in height, how they're sitting now. But when you look at trying to get them into different areas, this handle has been moved slightly, motor is not sticking out as far. So if you have the width to get this in, you're actually gonna get this new subcompact in, in a little bit smaller of an area, which is actually surprising when you line them up and see, will they go into the same area? Can you get this in as tight of an area? There's no doubt. Well, this unit is larger, it still will fit into a smaller area. Now, if you don't have the width, then you're gonna be stuck down here. So there's two ways of looking at this. Realistically, either way, there's a lot of upgrades as far as the metal frame that is sitting in this new compact. I think that is huge. I haven't had problems with the plastic frame in this guy, but at the same point in time, it's not used as often because it does have limitations as to how much it can cut. And sometimes you just need to go a touch bigger to make sure that you're gonna be able to get through that cut. And this one has everything here. While I don't have the pipe reamer attachment, it would have been really nice to have. And I'm probably gonna invest in this in the future as we have a lot going on at that bank renovation. And the rafter hook to me is priceless because this dude, a lot of the times we would try to get something to hang in different areas or put a nail up so you could hang on that guard. But the reality is this rafter hook is what was needed here. I see no issue with the plastic covers. I like that they actually have some impact resistance built into them at the end if this were to drop. I like the kit, getting the bag, getting the battery, and getting the charger that's gonna come with it, I think is worth the amount extra. I'll try to put links to both of those in the description. Everything here is great. I love how fast it cuts. It reminds me of my M18 bandsaws, flat out, great performance, great everything. The limitation I see might be the blade size and what's out there. Again, I'll do some more research on that, put that in the description. As always guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Give us a like in this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, have a great day.